Let's face it, Survivor Series 2022 War Games was great. Survivor Series War Games this year had everything we wanted. I'm saying it's great, but it's not perfect, of course. I have a lot of things I can say. I have a lot of things I would book differently, but I'm not the guy who takes these decisions. And if I'm just watching this event from a perspective of a fan, I would just say that this event was great. We had two War Games matches and we have one for the male side and one for the female side. For the male side, of course, you want to include the bloodline, you want to include the big faction. And for the women's side, of course, you want to include the faction that wants to get control over the women's division, aka damage control. The questionable thing about war games was about their opponents for the both war games matches, but I guess they tried their best to build up the storyline in a way that makes sense and in a way that it's emotional. For me, the key to the bloodline match was Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and their friendship. The fact that Sami Zayn was at the point where he needed to choose between his best friend and between his family, quote unquote, family. From the women's side, we had Damage Control and Team Bianca. It was not emotional as the Sami and Kevin storyline, but it was emotional because it was first match back for Becky Lynch and it's the end of a circle if I can say that because basically damage control injured Becky and now she came back and she got her revenge. From the from the other matches it was great as well. There is one match in particular that everyone talked about and everyone disliked in a way which was Shotzi and Ronda Rousey match. I understand why people are not happy with that match and that people are saying that Ronda Rousey should be the women's division Brock Lesnar and stuff like that. And my response to all of that is, of course she is the Brock Lesnar of the women's division and what is your problem? She is unstoppable now. She is, that is the best reign she has since she's in SmackDown. In SmackDown, in WWE, she's the most dominant she's ever been, aligning with Shayna Baszler. We all know that Shayna Baszler will turn on her at some point, but that needs to build up and she needs to go over opponents like Shotzi, Aaliyah, uh, Rodriguez, and couple others in order to build herself up, in order to build that long title reign to solidify her. You cannot expect Ronda Rousey to be freaking monster from the beginning of her reign. And even though you cannot expect that, in my eyes, she is. For the other matches, I'm not gonna even mention them because they were great. Triple threat match for the US title was just amazing. For me personally, I wanted Set to continue his reign, but on the other end, it was a redemption arc for Thierry and his failed cash-in. The other match was between Finn Balor and AJ Styles. What can I say? Two of the best. The match was great and I have nothing else to add. Like, it was great that AJ took the victory. I'm not sure if they'll continue the rivalry, but I don't know, it, it was great. That video does not contain a lot of information. It's not a typical ups and downs video. If you want to have an ups and downs video, everything receives an up. Every single match receives an up for me. I just wanted to share my thoughts about Survival Series. I've been thinking how I want to do this video for Survivor Series and I have been nitpicking stuff about Survivor Series. Everything makes sense, like mo most of the rivalries make sense. In general, Survivor Series 2022 War Games was great and if you want to watch it, watch it and you'll see it yourself that it was great. Yeah, thank you.